Welcome guys to the very first video tutorial of PLC automation and this is Gagan from lifelearnings.com. In the very first tutorial of PLC automation, I will discuss some basics related to the PLC and some common terms related to the PLC automation. So the very first question is that what is a PLC and why it is used in industrial automation? The PLC is a programmable logic controller with some of the inputs and outputs and a central processing unit. PLC is just like a common embedded controller. The reason of using the PLC device instead of a microcontroller in industrial application is that the PLC system is very flexible. It is available from a compact version to a modular version where we will get minimum 6 input outputs to thousands of input output for industrial applications. So it is very easy to achieve the required number of input outputs for an industrial application which is not possible with a common microcontroller. The PLCs are manufactured by a lot of manufacturers. Some of the well-known brands are shown in this image like Siemens, Rockwell Automation, Schneider, Mitsubishi, ABB, etc. The architecture of a PLC device is very common to the architecture of a microcontroller. The PLC system will consist of some of the input modules, central processing units, memory, power supply modules and output modules. In the PLC system, the input output devices are known as input output modules and they are optically isolated from the CPU. The power supply requirements for a PLC system are different from a common microcontroller. A programming device or a computer is required to transfer the logic into PLC. Generally, the switches and sensors are input devices for PLC and motors or lamps are output devices for PLC. The selection of PLC depends upon the application. If the application required more number of input outputs, then we can select the modular type of PLC which is shown in this image. In the modular type PLC, we can insert input output modules to increase the number of input outputs. Or we can select the compact type of PLC where we will get fixed number of inputs and fixed number of outputs. We can still increase the number of input outputs for this compact type of PLC with the input output expansion modules. The main difference between a modular type of PLC and a compact type of PLC is that the compact PLC will contain a CPU, memory and input output on a single package whereas in the modular type of PLC we have to insert specific modules according to the requirement. The module can be a CPU module, a power supply module, a communication module, digital input output or analog input output module. There are two options to provide power to a PLC device. We can either provide AC 220 or 120 volts or 24 volt DC. But again it is depend upon the PLC type. If PLC system require a DC supply then we have to use a SMPS to convert 220 volt AC into 24 volt DC. We can increase the number of input outputs of a PLC system by using the input output expansion cards. Here is an image of analog input card for a select PLC. The input output cards are available for digital and analog input outputs. To increase the number of inputs we can use either PNP type or NPN type of input cards. To increase the number of outputs we can either use the relay type of outputs or transistor type of outputs. To increase the analog inputs we can either use 0 to 10 volt card or 0 to 20 milliampere card. To increase the analog output channels we can either use a current output card from 0 to 20 milliampere or we can use analog output card for voltage 0 to 10 volt. To establish the communication between a PLC system and a computer device there are a lot of communication protocols. The very common protocols are RS232 and RS485 communication protocols. You can see the communication port for RS232 a communication port for Ethernet and a communication port for USB. The main function of a PLC device is to accept the inputs, execute the program and set the outputs as per the logic. This process is also known as the scan cycle of the PLC. For PLC scan cycle, the device will first read the input states, then according to the states of inputs, it will execute the program and to activate any device on output, it will set or clear the output state. 
To write a program for PLC device, there are many programming languages. Few of them are sequential function charts, functional block diagrams as shown in this image. This is the instruction list programming language for PLC which is very common to assembly language of a microcontroller. The most common programming language is ladder logic programming language and I will discuss the basics of ladder logic programming in next tutorials. For this PLC automation tutorial series, I will go with the select PLC. I will discuss the features of select PLC in next video tutorial. Thanks for watching guys and subscribe the channel.